That's a great one. Prisoner of Society, let me in. Uh, probably one of the most underrated bands. I never know why they didn't get bigger in Canada or the US. Um, I think they're amazing. Uh, I think their musicianship is next level. I find that our bands kind of are very similar in a lot of ways, not in like playing, but just how we always kind of navigated through these weird waters and never were just like attached to one kind of thing. So, big fan of them, big fan of that song. Buzzcocks, Ever Fallen In Love. Uh, Buzzcocks were the first band to take us on tour across uh, the United States, which was a really, really amazing experience. We ended up covering this song later on for a B-side or something, and uh, it's just a really great track. Probably one of my favorite bands. Uh, they were also shapeshifters in the sense that they, uh, it wasn't necessarily the style of music that they played, but more the way they approached it that made them punk rock. Uh, and it's the band's Clash. And the song is really can't found. I just think it's perfect. Rancid, Maxwell Murder. Oh, do do. Yeah. Just uh, as a bass player, listening to Matt Freeman shred on that track, uh, you know, puts a lot of like. There's always this stuff about punk rock not being like musical and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I'd like to see anybody try to play that song on bass. For my third song, I'm going to choose the band, uh, Bad Religion, and a song called uh, Stranger Than Fiction. Awesome dudes, uh, big supporters of the band, have always treated us with nothing but respect and grace, and uh, uh, Jay Bentley is the most handsome and coolest guy in the world. <laughs> uh, the Descendants uh, have this song called Murka, and uh, it's this incredible short little punk rock song about uh, kind of the blind pride of Americans. Great great lyrics, incredible song, and okay. also good news on this new one. Uh, but I'm going to go with uh, The New Noise by Refused. This song just kind of really changed uh, the way, again, the, the parameters of what punk rock was deemed to be. And what I mean by that is there was nothing else that sounded like it when it came out. There's been 14 billion bands that have tried to rip them off since, uh, yet no one has done that. Anti-Flag, Die for Your Government. Uh... These guys are really, really good friends of ours, and this is just this song is just an anthem. And uh, I just remember first couple of times hearing it. It was always a live performance on Warp Tour, and just seeing the power behind it, and and uh, just think it's a really great tune. Uh, so these guys, uh, we kind of grew up at the same time. We're from Chicago, we're from from Toronto, but as they were kind of picking up, we kind of picked up, and obviously they went to the fucking moon, and we're still in orbit. But they're <laughs> Lovely guys, uh, good friends of ours, great band, and uh, I know the prayer. Prayer for refugee, or rise against. Anyway, yeah, great band, good dudes, good song. And last but not least, No Effects, Creeping Out Sarah. I think this is probably the funniest song I've ever written, and uh, I really like those guys uh, as people and as a band. Uh, and it's, yeah, it's really, really cool. And we also like Tegan and Sarah. And we like Tegan and Sarah, who are Canadians. And so I was just kind of right in there. Yeah. We like Switzerland. We are. <laughs>